excuse me, if I could get everybody's attention for just a couple of minutes here. Thank you uh, for coming out here on this beautiful day. Uh, Fort Worth, Texas, we, we have some visitors from the Department of Public Safety, but somebody said they had some one of our competitors' truck parked on the side of the road giving them a speeding ticket. It wasn't ours, so uh, they're going to they're gonna show up a little bit late. But uh, welcome again to the FFE Transportation Driver Academy. For y'all that don't know, FFE stands for Frozen Food Express. We transport food all across the United States and Mexico and Canada. Uh, we have uh, an, uh, about 1,900 trucks on the road, and, and this facility is designed to create careers and jobs in Fort Worth and throughout our, in our country for our trucking industry. Uh, just to do a little, a little uh, housekeeping here, as soon as we finish the ribbon cutting, we would like you to go inside. We, we will give you a quick presentation and a tour of the backing range. We've got our, some of our students back here taking a couple of minutes off, show you how we teach drivers how to back trucks. Trust me, it's not as easy as it looks, so we'll let you do that. We also have Nick Cook here. Nick is right here, and we'd like to get a photo opportunity inside the truck for you to take home with you. So if you can get in the truck, we also have a truck over here to the side. If you want to take a quick uh, drive, we'll let you drive the truck today. We won't let you go very far, but you can uh, can drive the truck here today, okay? Yes, sir. The truck that we're driving, this is a new one. We don't want them to drive the new one, John. Okay, just uh, uh, Mr. Russell Stubbs will... Uh, uh, address uh, uh, us on a couple of issues. Again, our, our, our motive here is, is, is for jobs. Uh, we have a very re big responsibility to the motoring public to keep our highways as safe as possible. This staff is totally dedicated to that. I'm personally dedicated to that. It's a huge responsibility and our industry needs good, engaged truck drivers to fill our trucks. Uh, Russell, it's all yours. Thank you, Mark. Thank you all for being here today at our grand opening of our, our driving academy. And uh, I'd like everybody to turn around and just recognize our class and our students today and give them a hand. You can tell that they're the smart people of the group and so, so are our officials from the city because they're in the shade. So a good intelligent class you got in here, Mark. Uh, we're very excited about this school. We opened. Uh, in February, we, we uh, kind of had this vision for a few years, and we've had this piece of property here in Fort Worth for approximately 20 years. We, we ran a truckload company out here called Lisa Motor Lines for a long time. Uh, we, were, we merged that in with our corporate group in 2009 when the economy was down and uh, held onto this property, and Mark and I have had discussions about a driving school for probably 20 years. And it finally came to fruition. We had, you know, going through the Texas Workforce Commission, and we had a lot of issues getting through and getting approved, but we're really excited. And uh, for those of you that, that may or may not know or are not familiar with our industry, there is a qualified driver shortage in the truckload industry. And people say, well, how can there be a driver shortage when there's unemployment? and the economy slow well, well there's a qualified driver shortage that's a difference and we're, we're bringing people in that, that are looking for a career that want to learn how to drive a truck and want to build a career here also we're getting people in with clean records clean driving records clean criminal and background records as opposed to trying to pull a driver from another company that's already had issues we're bringing someone in with a clean record and teach them how to drive a truck and not just how to drive a truck, but to drive a truck for FFE and to handle our unique refrigerated products. And we handle pharmaceutical products for uh, Alcon Laboratories, a Fort Worth company. I'd like to give our customer a hand here for being here. But, but you know, we handle it, anything that, that you may see in a grocery store from, from lunch meat to frozen fish to bakery goods to dairy products. And, you know, it, it, it takes a special person to be able to handle food products and and to move food through a cold chain and to be able to deliver it safely to stores at the correct temperature so that we're not just teaching people how to back up we're teaching people how to drive safely and uh, to be good stewards of the motoring public but we're also teaching people how to deliver food in good condition and uh, I'd like to ask Mayor Mike Moncrief to come up and say a few words thank you very much Thank you. 
Thanks, Russell. As you'll know, uh, I was one of the stupid ones over here in the sun. So, you know, I just uh, I want to take just a couple of minutes, real quickly, to congratulate FFE. And if you noticed, uh, this is kind of a family operation. Seems to me like everybody kind of has everybody else's back. And as I look over here at this class. I not only see uh, students of, of how to uh, become certified quality drivers, I see an opportunity to support their families. I see an opportunity of second chance in life. I see uh, an opportunity to increase the quality of life right here in our city by providing those new jobs, providing the, uh, the challenge that that brings to one of the fastest growing major cities in the country. And this is a big deal. Any new job in this city is a big deal, especially with the economy and what it's been through. I think that the, uh, the staying power of, of FFE and listening to some of the initiatives, uh, especially some of the green technology that is becoming available, that's even more exciting to me as a mayor and uh, to, uh, to all of you because that's all about sustainability. It's all about improving our air quality. And that's something that we better be concerned about. We better continue to be concerned about. And as we talk about putting trucks on the road, it is so important that we have the right people behind the wheel. So important. Because there seems to me almost be more people out here who don't know what they're doing than do. Uh, I, I see examples of poor truck, dri truck driving every single day. I think all of us do. But it's time to share the road. It's, it's certainly an opportunity for y'all to learn how to do it and do it the right way. In fact, I guess I'd call it the Fort Worth way. The Fort Worth way. And that's something that I think y'all can, can uh, put, on the, uh, put on the list and, and show the rest of, of the country how to do it. Certainly, you've got some unique products. You've got, you've got great customers, especially with Alcon. Congratulations, guys. Great call. Uh, this is a, an outstanding provider. Uh, I've been asked a number of times, what are you going to do, Moncrief, after you uh, retire from mayor? Well, after looking at this rig, <laughs> that looks fun to me. Uh, not that I'm first in line to go want to back those things up because that's not on my list. But I do want to uh, I want to congratulate all of you today. This is this is a big business. Um, it is a a chance for for us to extend the Fort Worth family and uh, the quality of life of the people who live in this great city. The, um, the Action Ambassadors are here with the Chamber. They're going to make it official here in a moment, but uh, I want to thank you for inviting me out here. Uh, Rosie said to give all of you uh, her best. She would be here if she could have. And uh, again, thanks for, for the invitation. Thanks for sharing with me uh, some of the technology that's available. And if y'all hadn't seen the, uh, the new electronic logbooks, that's pretty impressive. That, that's no longer duct tape and bailing wire. That's that is uh, uh, uptown technology and and uh, state of the art uh, technology, where you know exactly where that driver is, what uh, the number of hours they've driven, how much they they can drive, how much they can't. Even when they're in the sleeper cab, uh, they know. So it's always going to be eyes on you guys, and uh, be aware of that. Uh, know, to, know that uh, we appreciate you. Uh, Mike, thank you all for being here as well. And uh, God bless you all and God bless our city. Thanks.